Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I um, have a project that we've been working on for a while but well another episode of this project and it comes down to how to put a graphics card in a server because that's not very easy so um, I have a server here on the table and we have seen that before but now I have some new parts for it so let's go see that I get this question quite often from gamers that want a really cheap high performance gaming computer um, can I buy a used server and use that for gaming? And uh, let's go see why that is kind of a problem. This is one of my servers and it's the IBM 3650 Model 3. And this is the newest server from IBM slash Lenovo that you can get for reasonably cheap. If you go up to the M4, it's way more expensive than the M3 here. The M3 you can get fairly cheap. I have seen in the comments that people get these for very good prices. But they have a problem inside, so let's go see that. This server has these riser cards that enables you to uh, put in PCI cards. And they are only times 8 And if you take any newer graphics card, and this is really an old thing, that's an X16 and it just doesn't fit down there. I have done some videos where I've removed this part of the plastic and yes you can fit a graphics card in there then and yes it will work. It will be a bit slower but yes it will work. So you can put a graphics card in there. There is a little bit more of a um, restraint to uh, how much you can power in this because there is only one power connection. It's hidden down here and it's a six pin connection uh, I think is this able to handle about I can't remember but the smaller graphics card you can power with the six pin connector if it becomes a really powerful connector you usually have to have both a six pin and an eight pin connector to power that right on the system board itself there is an PCI Express X16 but it's not the regular one. If you see this graphics card, there are pins uh, down here and also up here. This is not as wide as it is down here. So it's something else. So you can't just pop this in um, or at least I haven't had the guts to do that yet. So I was looking for another solution and it is possible. Where are we? It's possible to get this riser card in an x16 configuration but they are rare and expensive and i did a video about that and i did get a lot of help in the comments trying to find a riser card an x16 card that would fit in here we didn't get the right one we tried uh, all kind of stuff even contacted some ebay sellers in germany to ask if the one they had for sale was the right one and it turned out to not be the right one, so that was not usable. Um, this is a, a riser card for a 2U server. This IBM 3650 Model 3 is also available in a 1U edition. Then it's called the IBM 3550. And the 3550, the riser card is way more widely available in the x16 configuration so i was recommended to pick up a riser card for the x3550 and so i did here it is Watch. let's get that out of the plastic here it is a small riser card and that goes from the, the we can just compare this they're not alike this is the one that goes down into the system board and this is the graphics card and um, well the pin configurations are weird and wrong so my thoughts was to put this in the server put the graphics card in here so let's see how that goes so the riser card that goes in perfectly so the graphics card um that doesn't go in as perfectly there is no room for it i could probably it would it would want to sit here and the connections would be blocked by the metal down here. Uh, we might need another angle for you to see that. Here it is. The graphics card is way under where it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be up here, right? 
and it's down there. So by itself, that's no good. So having the card down there is not really an option. Plus the big powerful graphics card that you want in here, they need to be up here because they have all the cooling on this side. So they have to be on the top slot up here instead of the bottom one um, down there. So to try and fix that, I bought one of these ribbon board things here. So that can pop in here like that. And I can pop in the graphics card. This is just a tiny little graphics card to uh, try to show this. And that could sit up here. That would be marvelous, right? Um, if all this crap works, it could be right there and all would be good. I have the slight difficulty but that this piece of metal that is supposed to hold the graphics card in place here, um, that doesn't fit. There is too much metal in the way. We can put that in. Oh, we can put the graphics card in. There, but this thing is too wide down here. It's supposed to more almost go flush. Well, I took this one out so you can kind of see where it's supposed to be going. Here, the graphics card should go out and then it goes directly down. And that's not what is happening here. It goes out and it goes onto a little circuit board and then the cables go down. So there is like this amount of extra space that conflicts with this piece of metal. So that's not gonna, not without changing anything, that's not gonna happen. So, um, but I would really like to see if the server would uh, recognize this as it is. So I think we'll just put this here like that. That's awesome, right? and uh, see if it complains a lot if I boot it up. So I've connected power and screen and monitor. So we're gonna power this up and see if it complains a lot. Oh, it's pretty pissed right now. So far there has been no complaining. It's, it's booting pretty normally, um, except it's just made a lot of noise. Again, down here it's complaining about fans. Um, I don't get that. I just checked that all the fans are working, and they are. So uh, I don't know why it's complaining about that. Okay, this is quite noisy right now. It's still complaining about the fans. I took out the graphics card and just left this port in but um, I actually think that it might have worked before because the screen went black and now it's booting so probably that graphics card took over and I should have uh, watched the picture on that instead so even though it's complaining, I think it might have been working. So I think I'll try that again. And this fan error is pretty irritating. I might try and put the other card back and see if it disappears. Okay, right now there is no fan error. And I put the old board, the riser card for this machine in. So apparently these boards tell the server if they're if they're occupied if there is something in them and um, that helps the server determine how fast the fans should run uh, which makes sense because if i put in a graphics card here it would be really nice if this fan down here that um, helps cool that graphics card would run a little faster because well we need some more airflow then so apparently these riser cards has some electronics that does that this does it for the IBM 3550 model 1 and um, it only has one slot so it's probably telling the operating or the buyers here that um, there's something wrong with the um, well it, it's giving wrong input and the fan just don't like it it is working but it's noisy as hell so I think I'm gonna try it again with this car 
and try and have the graphics come out of it um, even with the noise okay I have changed the configuration again it's now the graphics card there is in and uh, it's 3550 racer card is in there and it's again complaining about the fan um, it's probably not important it's just getting wrong information and because of that wrong information it runs the fan full speed I put in the cable for the monitor up here and well actually right now it's booting I was not expecting that oh I messed up if you will look at the monitor here we can see the source analog no picture digital picture so right now it's actually using the, the graphics card up here because that has a digital output the other one has an analog output VGA and DVI well even though it works with the graphics card it doesn't work with the graphics card because it just turned off so apparently it it sees this as a big error and it shuts the system down just to be safe mm, I'm afraid this solution is a no-go which is really irritating I was already planning on how to cut off a piece of this metal to fit uh, everything in there again and mount the graphics card in this thing so good thing I didn't go down and start uh, chopping up metal bits I haven't broken anything yet. Well, so I've tried this a couple of times and I think we'll have to call it a nice try because the server starts up and it works. The graphics card is actually working. It pushes a picture up that way and then the server shuts down because of a fan error that it um, obtains with the other riser card because it can't control the fans uh, depending on which, how much the riser card is pulling of power and stuff like that so um, I need to find another solution for this I need to find the x16 version of this um, and uh, and do that this was a nice try it was suggested by a lot of people and um, now I'm pretty sure that I'm definitely not gonna be able to just use the rhythm band the flex the flex band that's that's not gonna work there is some logic in these boards and uh, there it's a bit harder to get around so uh, back to the drawing board thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye